already trailed this porky a little bit. We went out through here. And uh, it looks like those tracks could have been made last night. And actually, it's hard to tell. There might be a fissure. It could possibly be a fissure. It's very hard to tell. But the general pattern is a lot like a porcupine. And I can't stress enough how dangerous those are. Uh, you never know. You let your feral children run around or your bird dog out here, something bad could happen to them. We're just going to take a look out here and see if we can't neutralize this threat. There's a nice stand of pines here. We'll check these out. This is a high probability area. Okay, we're just going to take a short jaunt out through here and follow these tracks. Because you never know. Most uh, parents don't even think about how dangerous a porcupine can be until their child comes home with a mouthful of quills. Kids prone to biting things. You know, he come up against one of these things, it could be a bad day for him. Keep a sharp watch through here because uh, these porcupines will stay in the top of these trees. They've been known to just leap out of trees from 30 yards up. And uh, if one of them fell on you, you'd be in big trouble. I've, I've never seen very many of them survive that actually did those leaps, but uh, it's always a danger. Well, if you look around here, you see, there's porky tracks everywhere. This is kind of the motherland for porky pines. And, uh, they could be anywhere. It's right down in there. Can't see his tracks too well because I covered him up, but uh, he's definitely in there. We'll be back. I can't see him, but he's in there. Well, sometimes when they hole up like that, you can call them out and sound like a porky in heat. This is a breeding season, so I'm going to give it a try. Oh, baby, come on. Oh, baby. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. We'll be back when the rut starts. We got grouse tracks and deer tracks and porky tracks. Everything lives here, right here.